Yo, welcome everyone. Hello, hello again. You know what this is. We back with some rim hammer. Having a good time. We're gonna mess around with the rim hammer mod once again. I, you know, I've been kind of sitting here chilling and thought, kind of wanna mess around with this. I changed up the mods. Uh, so we got different mods this time. So it is gonna be a little different, but shouldn't be too bad. Uh, hopefully, the new camera also isn't too bad. Let's slightly lift it up a little bit. There we go. All right. So we're going to go with Randy Random, as I always like to. Uh, commitment mode, always, because, you know, why not? You know, I don't know how long this week. We'll see if this actually runs well. Um, and we'll see who all shows up on the planet. But I have been wanting to do a proper 100% and do a long series in RimWorld. So we went through... And updated a bunch of mods. I'm just trying to move this out of camera. <laughs> Didn't think you could see my work laptop in the background. <laughs> Good thing is, it's not zoomed in enough to where you can actually see it proper, so. But it is on a power wire, there we go. But yeah, uh, so we'll see how things go today. I've been looking forward to doing a game like this for a while, and I know we haven't gone back to RimWorld in quite a time. Uh, I just did the Tales of the Oliveres, and you know, that was a fun time, but you know, we haven't done much else. So I figured it was time to finally go in and do a new proper playthrough. Now there is some changes I have going on here, um, such as the fact that we actually can use impassable terrain for once um which is nice so it i think it all has caves regardless right i don't think there's any oh there is okay now this one does have a growing year which is why we don't want it uh and we want to be somewhere close to society but also um far enough away that we can kind of set something up Ooh, what about in here? No, I don't like caves. It's again, is it too far? I think it's too far north. Is it? I don't know. Where, where's the equator? The equator should be like roughly around here. Now, I want to actually be attacked on occasion, so we want to go places where there's going to be people and such. You know what? I don't like the three types of stone. God damn it. God damn it. I'm just trying to find some impassable terrain that's not like three kinds of stone because while it's nice, it's also kind of an annoyance. Uh, let's look back over here for a sec. Ooh, ideally, perfect area is going to have like year round growth and no caves, and then like only two types of stone. Like right here. You know, we're going right here. Um. This is my new idea. <clears throat> Uh, let's see, let's create a fluid one. I always go to, with the embodied theus because I just like the design of it. Hmm. Now for my dwarves, I feel like a loyalist. We stand for our own before others. I feel like this is probably the most accurate. So I think that's what we're gonna start with. Um, no. Sect of Calibrin. Cult of the Calibrin. <laughs> Not the Creeper. Alright, let's let's pick a symbol here. Uh, we do have some expanded symbols, so... <sighs> and I like the pickaxes. Let's go with that. And we're gonna go with an earthy tone. Uh, I'm thinking a dark gray. Creed of Faith. Creed of the High King. Uh, we'll call them Loyalists. Uh, is the adjective. Um, so for eat for a member. Uh, hmm. So the adjective. I'm trying to think what we can do here. The Pantheon, I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, I'd actually prefer to call this uh, Temple, is the ritual room. 
Um, and the member noun. Hmm. Let's do this. Okay. Warrior of the cloth. Uh, or warrior of the mountain. There we go. There we go. Alright. So we're going to change that up. Uh, for the gods. Um, edit deity. Uh, the deity name shall be the high king or stone. The corrupt of house stone. And he will be a spirit of absolute rule. And the god of creation, we will name it as, I forget what her name was. Uh, I don't remember the lore, so <laughs> we're actually going to do Alenta because Alenta is the god of creation, a goddess of creation to us. All right, perfect. Uh, so you can read all that. I'm not going to do anything here. Um, I think a moderate, let's not do intense slavery, uh, completely honorable. Execution, respected if guilty, uh, men must always wear at least the pants and shirts. People are already PMing me today. No one cares that you're posting. Organ use, no harvest, uh, yeah, we'll keep it to that. Cannibalism, apparent, fungus, uh, that's fine. Blindness is horrible. Eating aliens is abhorrent. Mm, acceptable. Uh, ocular trees. No, we won't desire them. Corpses are going to stay as ugly. That's fine. Alien slavery, completely honorable. Uh, we'll put slavery as accepted, but alien slavery is completely honorable. Marriage name... Uh, Always man's, men, uh, men's spouse is one only, one only, that's fine. Uh, no, we desire skull spikes. Scarcification, no. Eating nutrient paste, I agree. Research should always be fast. We should treat that with uh, a lot. We'll despise insect meat. And I'm okay with this. Divine chief, no, we're gonna rename. Um the Pope. Pope. <laughs> uh, and instead of the mask, um, you know, no, I'll keep that. Yeah, that's fine. And then moral guide, we'll rename this to, oh, we can't rename that? Oh, okay. We can't change the name of them, which sucks. Percept name is too long. Oh. Oh. Edit name. Oop. What? Uh, what? Lock or unlock the concept when lock. Okay. Well, here. You know what? We'll leave it alone. Uh, moral guide. Funeral. Uh, sky lantern. Um. We'll do a social festival on occasion. And we can actually edit this. Uh, we'll leave that as any time. Yep. No. Nope. Edit, yep, Inhuman of Creation, and then, yeah, that's fine. Pews are good. <laughs> A buffalo. Uh, you know, can I remove and instead add, like, a, yeah, we'll do a ground sculpture, that's fine. I just want to, shape of family, loyal image, yeah, why not? Uh, so we've got some really interesting rare weapons. Um, we're not going to mess with this. We are going to add an animal. Uh, we want something that fits towards the High King. And hmm, what would he what would he use? I'm just kind of looking through this. Definitely the corgi. The corgi is a venerated animal. Uh, we'll do all that, and all that, as well as all that, and all that. Okay, done. Uh, we're not going to do apparel, 
So there we go. And we are going to prepare carefully. Okay, it's loading, give it a minute. It does take a second. Uh, Rimworld is not the fastest game when you have mods. <laughs> Viking Stonebeard. <laughs> okay, so let's first uh, get rid of any bad traits, which I'm okay with this. Um, Cause we don't want any like scars or anything like that. Cause we're not gonna be able to handle that. You're not doing nudist. Okay, yeah, giving, getting guns is fine. Uh, I don't really care about that. What's Tenderizer? We're not doing a Pyromaniac, thank you. And let's add... Uh, no, a... Sure, Dwarf Villager. Um, and we're gonna... No. Uh, Agile, I'm fine with all that. We'll get rid of that. Alright, so these will be our... Well, we always take five, so let's uh, take one last one as we do. Xenophile. Nope. Serpendipitous. Uh, he's been pretty lucky in the village. Pretty... Oh, okay. Um, and he can't do a lot of stuff, but he really likes animals, so he probably will be our main animal caretaker. Uh, for the relations, that's all fine. No issue. Actually, wait. Go in here. Any... X lovers. Okay, so we're not taking Quig or Turry, right? We are taking Quig. We're not taking Turry, so that's fine. Uh, Quig is gonna be mad if he doesn't have Ulfta with him, which is unfortunate. But you know, hey, we're gonna have to deal with that. Uh, you know what? I'll actually close that. Let's let's get rid of that. And you know, what? we're not gonna. These two are lovers. Hummy. Okay, we'll take that. That's fine. All right, let's go into our equipment. So I always like, we will use a point limit thing as we like to do. Uh, we won't need an ax in my opinion. Points remaining, you know what? We're not even gonna bother with that. Uh, we're gonna need five suits of armor, five helms. Um, let's say two shields, two pickaxes and three of these. Uh, and then we'll take some package survival melees like we always do. Uh, ba, ba, ba. There they are. Because that's just part of it. I always like to take a ton. I know a lot of people don't like that, but I think it really helps with getting set up in the first early portion of the game. Uh, you know what? We'll say 500. I think that's fine. All right. So we're going to jump into the game and each of these episodes uh, or the first episode as always will be 30 minutes and then the rest will be 15 so just as a heads up for those who enjoy the series i don't know what we're going to call this series we'll come up with the name probably amid this episode today although we're 13 minutes in so you know given that as it may we'll see what happens i'm out of coffee i'm sad i'll make some more on uh, in between this episode and next Got this amazing maple pecan coffee. It's just so sweet. Tastes delicious. One of my favorites. Boom. Alright, let's see what we got. Alright. So we... <laughs> Look at all the gorillas down there. Well, that's not too bad of a setup. Um, we've got this giant impassable mountain that we're going to make a stronghold with. Alright. Uh, so I think the first thing we're going to do... Wait, what is this? Copper? I thought I removed that mod. Anyways, alright. Um, I'm going to actually cancel that. Um, let me think here. Okay. So we want this thing to be set up proper. So I'm gonna say, let's go here. And then, then we'll do our proper hallway here. There we go. And we'll start with that. Uh, let's allow everything so they'll start grabbing it all. Um, and we'll start moving in here almost immediately. We'll make a little wooden door Oh, really? Oh, we can't even do anything here. Okay, good to know. So this will be like an entrance. Okay, that's fine. Um, and we'll kind of start from there. Let's go into here. Default work policy. Okay, I don't know what all that is. 
Uh, but we'll do basically anybody who can is going to be doing uh, nursing. It's a good thing we got a decent amount of medicine this time around. Bed rest always. Two, one, two. All right. None of you can do magic, so we'll set you two to be our jailers and entertainers in case we have guests. You want to be our animal trainer. All right, so we'll put you as that. That's fine. We have a cook here. Um, you like to hunt well, here since he's going to be hunting. Uh, you're going to be our constructor. Um, uh, let's put you as our main gardener and plant grower. And then basically we'll pop all these all up. And we'll drop these all down to two in case they can help. Um, well, we'll drop it down to three, uh, but we're going to keep it yeah and then we're gonna get rid of all this because we're not gonna be doing any of it for a little bit so no point in activating it all right so let's get rid of all that stone cutting is gonna take a bit of research crafting is the same um research always good to be honest anybody who can do it always helpful um, and then those who aren't can focus on hauling and cleaning when they're not doing anything else. And so we begin. Uh, standard for vampires, that's fine. Alright. So we have sped up the game quite a bit. Um, there's a lot going on. So, oh, here. You know what? Actually, before anything else, because I didn't even think about this. Let's get some people equipped. You have a 7 and you have a 10. So those are both going to be... Oh, fuck. You're actually going to equip that over him. Um, you're going to go and equip that. You'll equip that. And you actually like to shoot. Uh, for the two people I have doing that, I want you then to equip that. Oh, and then equip that. That's just a quick shift click. And then... Basically, everyone's going to forswear this. Oops. Forswear. Forswear. Yep. Mm. Boop. Because everyone's going to need a uh, helmet and uh, armor. Yeah, that'll get them all kind of dressed up and dwarvish looking. All right, now they can all start to work on this. So, and then I guess the next thing we're gonna do is start uh, chopping any and all wood out here. All right. Uh, let's get all that going. They'll start moving that in. And then one of the first things we're gonna definitely need are beds, which I think we have more wood than anything else, and I think one of you is going to need a double bed. There we go. Alright, so that will get moved in, and then we're going to also bring almost all of our stuff over to here real quick. So let's move all this crap indoors as quickly as possible. I meant the door, buddy. I don't. I don't need you here. Yep. And then we'll do a general grow zone out here for now. That's fine. Um, let's also eventually get rid of that. We're gonna set potatoes here, and we'll set this to be um, rice. That's fine. Let's expand this one out a little bit since we can. And then move all this stuff in. And then while that's going, um, let's get our first table and a, uh, actually, let's do our first table on this. Uh, I know it's on, is it, oh, I thought it was on pause. Yeah, there we go. There and there. 
let's get some dining chairs in here. There you go. And they'll start working on all this and start planting and mining and get to work. So we got what we could from over here, so we shouldn't have as much over here now. Now it's gonna take them a while to mine for everything because it, it does kind of suck. Uh, let's also get some recreation going here while we're sitting here. Oh, we can't even build it. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll add like a recreation thing in the center. Bruh, anybody other than you could do this so much faster. Can you just one one piece of stone is all you gotta get down, buddy. Um, all right. For the dwarves, we don't have anything yet, so we are going to pretty much almost immediately for production start working on a um, research table. Uh, except these things are flipping massive, and the dwarven one I can't make because I don't have a stone cutter yet. So that'll probably be one of the first things we work on. Someone's already been conquested. We'll turn up high speed just to speed up things a little bit quicker. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. We've gotten a level one in mining, yay! And we'll be moving all this stuff here soon once uh, they get in here. Um, so we've got a pretty big mountain to work with. Um, I think definitely some planning is going to come in handy as time goes on. Um, but I think for the time being, we'll probably do another something like this. And then for production, we're going to want to quarry pretty early on. So I think maybe... Having that mined out, and then doing something along the lines of and then we'll do what is it? Uh four by four here. Just in case we need to get over here. Um and then what uh how big are the um, storage unit things uh, for this? Yeah, they're, they're about that size, so that's not too bad. And there we go. Uh, email real quick, okay, not a problem. Um, all right, and then while that's going on, we're gonna do something along those lines. Cap. So they're gonna start working on this stuff pretty quickly to get this all tidied up. Um, and we'll hopefully start seeing some uh, production going on here. Cause we actually, do we have any steel? Oh, we do have steel. Oh, oops, I forgot to get this stuff going too. Um, all right. Also for now, we're just gonna leave our chunks over here. So these, yeah, there you go boys. Yeah, get these out of here because we don't want them in here. And they're moving all that steel in. So we'll start cutting out the wood, hopefully here pretty quickly, and we'll get some stone cutting done almost immediately um, for what I want to do. And I'll just basically put this as a general three for them to work on. We got one bed already assigned, so that'll help. Uh, and for now, we're gonna definitely make stone blocks forever, and then we'll do singles as well. That means that anybody who's doing it can basically start uh, working on it. So we have four beds so far. Dom, why aren't you doing anything? Can you not mine? Nope, you can't mine. You can't do anything other than basically be entertaining. Okay. Well, as we get some meals going down here later, we'll uh, probably send him out to start hunting. Yeah, these two are the only two that are going to sleep on the floor. Once this is set down, we'll be uh, all set up for that. But this will give us a chance to do a lot. Now, these guys aren't going to be very happy right now because we're in an awful barracks and we don't have any slaves. So that does kind of suck. Um... 
pretty early on we're probably going to need some uh, slave pens uh, for people. And then this bed is actually specifically going to be assigned to the loving couple we have. Also turn on auto repair when we can. Um, yeah, so Dom literally can't do anything other than hunt and train animals and then research. Assuming he can research. Yeah, this is going to be like his number one priority after that. Um, and so we're going to need to get some chunks going. So that means someone's going to have to do something. And since Hummy is the most, the worst miner of them all... We're actually going to set her to doing uh, stone cutting. When she's not constructing things. Which will definitely help because then we'll be able to start getting some blocks going pretty early on. Mm. Lunch, I already had it so we're good. So now we have tables for people to eat at. Now who are their loving couples? Um, Lover. Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay, interesting. Uh, so Viking and Hummy are gonna share this bed. Viking and Hummy. Okay. Uh, what? And then yeah, set Omer. Can I not? Okay, so we're gonna set this to, we got Dom Quig. Uh, we'll give this to Patrick. Uh, Patrick. And then yeah oh because they're not married you shit okay well then i guess you're gonna build another one of those in a minute all right let's uh get this going um one of the things we're probably gonna set them up when they start constructing we are gonna actually start getting more wood because we're gonna need it is that really all the wood we've got there we go yeah get as much of that wood as possible and we're actually gonna move this storage area to in here instead. And we're gonna go ahead and delete this. And this will get its own stockpile over there. Uh, but everything else will get set over here. So we'll move all these in. We'll move our steel. Because we don't want them coming in here. Alright. I mean, the magic site and stuff I'm not as worried about, so... And we can expand that a little bit. There we go. Uh, we also want another wood door right there. We'll use this as a sort of killing chamber later on. We're gonna get some more wood, because we desperately are gonna need it as the game goes on. Um, I have a feeling, unless we get coal and such, which may be of use... But there's some major winters that'll be coming through here, so we got to be careful. Um, and then one of the things we're immediately going to do, because it brings up the beauty, is orders smooth these walls. And actually, because we can smooth all this, get that smooth. There we go. That'll make them much happier if they start smoothing things, so. Which is definitely going to be of use to us. We're gonna wanna get a lot of that done. And it'll make the room nicer. Uh, one of the things we will also do is structures go in here. Uh, impassable wall capable of holding up a roof. Okay, yeah, we'll want that for the sandstone. Uh, you know, no, we'll leave that like that because then we'll just do that. And then we can do some decorative stuff later on once we've uh, researched it. Um, let's go into our production, actually. And because we can now build one of these, we'll do it, like, right here for the time being. We want to get that quarry up, though, because we're going to need stones and stuff like that. I could do, before I have them do a bunch of work, uh, how, what's the level of prettiness for this? Beauty is two. Now, if I turn on beauty, that's also a two. Oh, that's point eight. 
Well, let's see what it looks like once we have uh, the floors done. And we'll see uh, what they get. People be having fun. Yep, no, that's, that's good to see. This will also be a nice little choke point to keep people from uh, kind of climbing in here, which I'm ecstatic about, so... Uh, and yeah, now that we've got some tables and we've got the, the setup for that. We do have one colonist who's idle, but that's fine. Um, we are going to also mine this out so that way that's done. Um, when we need sulfur eventually, we're gonna, we'll are gonna do something with it. But that is the first episode for... Well, we haven't even named our base, so we'll go until we name it. We haven't named it yet, and I don't know what I want to name it yet. Yeah, we'll kind of figure that out as we go. I will say, uh, for the rest of this, we're gonna start to kind of cut down a few more trees. Because I feel like, well, actually I don't want to go over on that end if I can help it. There you go. Also, all this wood we will bring in. And we know the animals will kind of continue eating. What is that thing? Oh, it's a mastiff. Oh, that's cool. Also, any other wood we can get, we'll bring in because we want to bring that in for any for resources for the future. We will probably need wood at a certain point. And at this point, they're doing their job, so that's all good. We haven't held a marriage ceremony, and you know the colonists will be unhappy for a little bit, um, just because of the barracks being nasty. Um, and the disturbed sleeps, so which is suck, which sucks, but we can't do anything about it. Uh, we'll go ahead and expand this for the time being. <laughs> Poor Hummy, yeah, just go to bed, Hummy. <laughs> like, and hopefully we'll be able to get the barracks up and running here soon once we name this place. <laughs> and we'll kind of figure out from there what we're gonna do for this playthrough. So my general goal is basically, right, I want to survive as long as possible. I want to build a stronghold that is set up, and then we'll build an empire. So the goal of this series is the empire that we're going to build. What? Uh, Maya, PM me. Uh, stuff, you help me find my power monthly cost, right? Like water, like oh, yes. Uh, all right. Maya had a quick question about some uh, bills and stuff that she was working on, or they were working on, so. Yeah, we're gonna hopefully slowly uh, do a bunch of work on that. Dom, yeah, Dom's main thing is he has to go hunt animals, but we don't have any animals to hunt. We don't have a cooking room set up yet, so we'll get that set up here soon. Because I'm thinking the dining hall will probably be somewhere around here, and then we'll have a kitchen over here. Or we'll have a dining hall, rec room, and kitchen. Actually, while these guys are planning that out, actually, I can plan shit out. Planning. So, yeah, I'm thinking this will continue to the heart. Oh, here we go. Um, Dom also thinks that it should give the settlement a name. So, I think for the Empire name. Hmm. I think the Empire name... The High King's Empire. I think that's a good name. And for this place, I think we're going to name it. We don't know who our leader is yet. Patrick probably will be because of his ability in combat. Because he's like the top contender for uh, warriors. So... Patrick... Hold in honor of him because he is our strongest dwarf so i feel like it would be named after him so this that's what we're naming the series the empire the high king's empire we'll go with that and see where this goes as time goes on hope you've all enjoyed and i'll see you next time <laughs>